Hello, good morning. Today we are discussing panic attack. This has become a problem in the whole world. Sometimes in my office, the hospital, so many patients are there for this. So let us discuss it. May the Lord bless you. Amen. What is the root of panic attacks? What causes panic attacks? There are three root causes to panic attacks that have individual factors. Genetic anxiety stemming from childhood and response to the challenges of adulthood. These factors all have one thing in common and it is they are not your fault. And what is the root of panic attacks? What is the root of panic attacks? What causes panic attacks? It's just what I explained to you before. And listen how you're going to manage it. And how do you explain a panic attack? A panic attack is a sudden episode of intense fear that triggers severe physical reactions when there is no real dangers or apparent cause. Panic attacks can be very frightening. When panic attacks occur, you might think you are losing control, having a heart attack, or even dying. Many people have just one or two panic attacks in their lifetimes and the problem goes away perhaps when a stressful situation ends but if you have had recurrent unexpected panic attacks and spent long periods in constant fear of another attack you may have a condition called panic disorder although panic attacks themselves aren't life-threatening they can be frightening and significantly affect your quality of life but treatment can be very effective and today i want to talk about a different type of panic attack not a medical disorder this one but a life event that if you don't man up and overcome it it will cause your necessary suffering you will live in the land of cannot instead of the land of can do all things through christ who strengthens me you will develop an attitude that avoids challenges. What you feed grows. What you staff dies. Don't nurture your fears. Many Christians lost their cutting edge when they run from a risky situation. And then until something happens, they become runners. David faced a lion and a bear that attacked his sheep. He successfully fought them off and they prepared him for the day. He faced the giant. Most People, if a lion attack a sheep, will simply send a back a report to dad. Sorry, dad, we lost the lamb today. You see, there is always an element of danger if you are going to step out in faith. If we use our titan for an example, there will come a day where where you may have to make a choice between paying tithes or some other bill. You may face a spiritual attack. Attack about the situation. Faith is not the absence of fear, but stepping out despite fear. When your finances are threatened, you know, it's the first thing some people stop doing, and it should be the last. They'll stop tightening. Let me tell you why. It creates a, cl a clinical problem, and money is the least of the giants you will face in your life. The real issue is, n is not the money but how you train yourself to deal with threats running and not doing what god wants you to do is not the right answer or you may feel like you are supposed to go on a mission trip but you don't have enough money in the bank now to pay for it that is called stepping out in faith when jesus called peter to get out of the boat and walk on water with him do you think the water looked like concrete or pavement? No, it looked just 
like water and had always looked every other day of that fisherman's life. He had to trust God. That the impossible would happen. A few minutes later, you know the story. Peter looked at the winds and waves. His faith flattened and he began to sink. What do wind and waves have to do with walking on water? Do you think you can walk any better on water when there is no wind or waves? The point is that Peter began to think it was impossible and that is when he sank. To his credit, at least it can be said he got out of the boat. The other 11 did not. The other 11 disciples did not. It would be a truly sad truth if that example illustrated a principle that only 8.5% of God's people will ever really step out in faith. What am I saying? Living by faith means taking risk and trusting God when circumstances strongly suggest otherwise. Okay? As a child of God, I want to talk for a moment on the power of a threat. Then, when we look at the life of Abraham and observe the effects of yielding to a threat, and finally, how to get back to the place of overcoming in the place of threats. Threats can bring panic attack as a child of God. Then, what will you do? You will not allow it to mature. You have to go to God and have courage in God. So you have to let courage rise with danger and strength to strength oppose. The idea is that your faith, your courage should rise to the level and beyond of the trouble you're facing. We shouldn't be turning tall. And running we shouldn't be intimidated to tell others of Christ we should turn back in the day of battle yet many do trust in the Lord trust God and remove fear in your life whenever you remove fear in your life the panic attacks stops may the Lord bless you in Jesus name